Alright, so I just finished the book titled Infamy, um, and it's a book about Pearl Harbor. So we got the title here, and the aftermath, which is pretty much all the conspiracy theories going around. Uh, a lot of the, they, they held uh, some major courts uh, with the Senate, and um, made charges against some of the, the uh, officers involved, particularly the ones on Pearl Harbor. They put a lot of blame publicly on the the people in Pearl Harbor, and it sounds like it was a little unjust. They kept repeating this east wind rain message. That was the message that Japan was to put over the radio, and that that signaled the to signal the attack, the attack on the American forces. But the people on Pearl Harbor didn't get that east wind rain encrypted message. And it was an encrypted message, and uh, it took a special uh, machine that I think the Dutch claim to have uh, invented, uh, but. Uh, it's either Dutch or Americans that were able to encrypt the Japanese message and and then actually have the warning. They knew the encryptors knew some encryptors knew uh, that the Jap Japanese were planning a, a, a attack very quickly, and they passed on the information uh, to their officers, to their higher ups. To their immediate higher ups, but that information seemed to have failed to have been passed on to Pearl Harbor. Uh, the president got the message. He actually he actually said that uh, this means war. He he could tell that it was a serious situation. Uh, but I mean, Japanese have a tendency to strike. Um, uh, without notice, without much notice, so it's it's like it was a it was another one of those type of general threats. Uh, but the uh, president needed the Japanese to attack because he was really politically working hard to stay out of the war. To get into the war, he needed that attack to occur. So it could have been a, as a part of the conspiracy that he held back some of the um, uh, the, the, the chain of the chain of uh, communication uh, or you know he he may have encouraged some of these uh, higher officers to withhold the chain of communication which was able to allow the Japanese to make a successful attack and it sounds like Roosevelt had a lot of confidence in the uh, the Navy, although in the Navy at Pearl Harbor, although they were very um, like packed into that that area. I don't know. They were just there were there was too many ships at at the dock, and it just uh, it was it was really ripe for a. A, a good attack. I mean, having all those ships so closely together, uh, it really made for a disaster. And and Roosevelt didn't ex exactly expect that. He he uh, he he needed the attack to happen so he could g get into the war against Hitler and and then Japan. Although we weren't really equipped for for war against Japan, only only Hitler, but that. That uh, Japan Japanese attack, of course, sparked it. There's a lot of controversy. A lot of officers were um, their their careers were ruined, uh, and it, it was um, you know not really their fault exactly. Uh, uh, one of them, I forget the name. Of, is this the guy? No, no, not no, no, none of those guys. But some of the officers' careers were ruined because. Because of this uh, this lack of, of passing on information, and 
and uh, they some uh, I think uh, it might have been Stafford who spent the rest of his life trying to clear his name. Uh, some some people were uh, on his side, some people weren't. Uh, there's a lot of lot of tension there, and I'm surprised they they could hold a court while the war was pretty much going on. They were they were really trying to to place to to figure out the the blame for this. Was was even the east wind rain message that important? I mean, there was other signs that the Japanese were about to attack, such as uh, uh, we were tracking the ships, and one of the ships just kind of was just disappeared, and it appeared to have been heading in a, like a northern uh, direction, sort of towards Hawaii. They might have thought that Alaska was getting attacked. Um, so, this I think this guy. He had to, to, he got unjustly, uh, yeah, Safford received the message, she was one of the encryptors, um, and he was kind of blamed for not passing it along, but it was, it was like, some of the officers were just not available to pass the information along too. This congressman, he, he held, he, he really grilled one of the, the officers pretty hard. It was. It made for good news at the time. It was a dramatic show, big dramatic show during these hearings. People were getting updated on, you know, who who is to blame. Let's let's get to the meat of this, of this issue. Why, why was Pearl Harbor attacked so fiercely? A military, the mil, the navy. It wasn't like civilians getting a surprise attack, it was the Navy getting obliterated uh, by surprise when, when uh, there were plenty, there were enough warnings that should have uh, uh, clued them in. So there's a lot of controversy. It seems similar to me to like the 9-11 the uh, World Trade Center issue. A lot of, a lot of similarities.